point right on. Saikkanen gives up the big rebound, and that's clear just why. To Foley, Sean hits a body in front and goes behind Saikkanen. And the 67s have themselves a one-goal lead. Tyler Toffoli just wound up, let it fly, hit a body out in front, and it was by Saikkanen. Right looks like the it skate of Dylan Blue just. Dylan Blue just, yeah. Wrap around, Saikkanen makes it, but Shane Prince gets his 16th point of the season, beating Saikkanen, it's 2-0 Ottawa. He's off to a great start this year, there's no doubt about that. Tell you something, Shane Prince coming over from the Kitchener Rangers has certainly lit it up for the 67s, and getting this opportunity on the wraparound, it was Johansson and Abraham missing the checks. Johansson twice missed Prince. Backhands it in the corner. Abraham will pinch up. Cody Cece hammers it back through the center ice area. Open pass. Here's Nesbitt in alone. He scores! Short-handed. The Ottawa 67s now lead 3-0. That was a beautiful, beautiful pass by Toffoli on that one. Thomas Nesbitt picks up a glorious pass from Tyler Toffoli and beats Dennis Sykin in five hole. The 67s with a shorthanded marker make it 3 nothing. Looks like everybody pinched towards the puck and, and, and uh, Nesbitt just snuck in behind everybody. Today, there's no doubt about it. Uh, it's, uh, these things happen, you know. Santini going wide. Santini on the backhand, tucks oh. it up high. Oh my, Michael Santini gives the crowd in the Powerade Center something to cheer about. It's 4-1 with 6.48 left here in the second period. Santini picked it up at center ice, made a nice nifty move right here around the defenseman and as the, as the kids nowadays say, bar down. Beautiful goal. Michael Santini on an eight. Comes to Philip Lane at center. He overskated it and Nesbitt brings it back the other way for Prince. Prince hammered just at the top of the circle by Zach Bell. And Bell's gonna get a penalty for the play, but now some pushing and shoving afterwards. Craig Moore drops the gloves. Well, I think we've got the captain, Stefan Thorne, definitely going to the box. Moore will be going to the box. We'll see if any of the Ottawa 67s go after that little extracurricular activity. Looks like a clean check to me, Doug. I don't know what uh, the referee must have saw. Maybe he got his elbow up, but it looked pretty clean in my perspective here. Not really sure you can assess a penalty for a, a nice, clean, open ice check like that, but Zach Bell is definitely in the box. I think the worst of it was, was Prince was trying to make a move, and he went down a little bit, so it, it made it look like he he got, you know, got hit, hit with the elbow. Lindsay looking for the open man. In front, Sykin and down, puck on the doorstep. They put it home. Well, it was only a matter of time, it seemed, as the 67s swarm the battalion net. 13 seconds only left in the five on three, but they get the power play goal and lead 5 1. Lindsay, all he did was just look for the for the, the right play, and then uh, looks like Nes Nesbitt will get the, the goal as well. The second of the game. Ten seconds of the game. Monaghan throwing it out in front, looking for Ryan Haynes. Cleared the opening, and that does it for the third period of play and a big road victory for the Ottawa 67s, finishing off the three games in three days. In style, a 5-1 road victory, 41 saves on the game for Peter Mrazek.
He uh, he played a very solid game today. He you know he he didn't give up many opportunities on the rebound. Uh, he, he killed momentum most of the time when Brampton was trying to get some momentum, and uh, you know. Played very well. Once again, we built this as a game of special teams. The top power play in the league in the Brampton Battalion and the top PK unit of the Ottawa 67s. Well, they shut down the Battalion power play, got a shorthanded goal, and took home a 5-1 victory here at the bunker in the Powerade Center. A huge win for the Ottawa 67s, knocking off the Brampton Battalion. We're going to take a break here on Battalion Hockey Live on Rogers TV, brought to you by Canadian Tire. We're coming back with our wrap-up. Stay with us. More to come.